It's hard to believe it, but this weekend actually marks 20 years since the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Before that horrific day, Lower Manhattan was a concrete jungle of corporate offices, but a virtual desert for grocery stores, playgrounds, or anything open past happy hour. The attacks on the World Trade Center changed all of that. Contessa Brewer joins us right now from New York with a look at the transformation. Hi, Contessa. Hi, Becky. Behind me, you can see the gleaming tower of One World Trade. For a time, it was nicknamed the Freedom Tower in defiance of the attacks of 9-11. Those attacks not only brought down the Twin Towers, but dramatically changed the economy of Lower Manhattan. Tore my stomach out. I couldn't even, I could hardly breathe. I made over 3 million square feet of deals at the original World Trade Center. Commercial real estate broker Ken Laub watched 20 years ago as a terror attack brought down buildings he knew so well. The amount of damage was unbelievable. In an instant, an immediate halt to the financial businesses that made up the economic lifeblood of Lower Manhattan. A huge exodus and 15 million square feet of office space that were displaced and corporations scampering around the city and the tri-state area to find facilities. What had been a concrete jungle for nearly 400,000 office workers turned into a ghost town. But into that void stepped opportunists, dreamers, and the defiant. I think that part of my motivation was really, I'm not gonna abandon the city. The city has a life and has possibility. In 2002, Marco Passanella moved into lower Manhattan, even as the cleanup at Ground Zero continued. Bought a historic building, started a wine boutique, without many neighbors to sell wine to. I was just praying that the residents would come, and then they did come. By 2020, the number of apartments more than doubled. Baby strollers now wind past Wall Street, new grocery stores and schools. $30 billion in public and private investment resulted in astonishing architecture, modern transportation hubs, and public spaces, including the 9-11 Memorial, a primary destination for visitors. And while there are 25% fewer office workers now than in 2001, there's a wider blend of companies, including Uber and Spotify. People wearing hoodies and funky sneakers who aren't working from nine to five, that's for sure, and you see that difference. Um, it's a new segment of the economy, and it has diversified our economy here, which is, is a goal for a very long time. It has hardly been a seamless evolution. The Great Recession took its toll. Superstorm Sandy just swamped this part of lower Manhattan. It took years to bounce back from that. And now we're seeing another mass exodus of office workers and residents because of the pandemic. And there are real questions here about how this economy rebounds after something like that. Becky? You know, Contessa, uh, just watching that, I, I worked downtown for eight years leading up to 9-11. To I was kind of devastated to see everything that happened there. Um, the area changed, but it didn't happen quickly. And, and when you talk about all of these other changes and, and challenges that it's kind of come back from, what, what is the situation there? I mean, downtown has a very different feel. It feels more livable. It feels more open, um, in part because it's been rebuilt so many times recently. But I'll tell you, one of the big challenges for this area is rising seas and climate change and the instances of severe weather. So they still don't have the resiliency in place to protect this area from another big hurricane and from big storm surge like we saw in uh, Superstorm Sandy. That is something that needs to be addressed and addressed in a big infrastructure kind of way, not, hey, we can put up some blocks along the seaport and try to keep out the storm flood. That's a big deal. And then this issue of people living close to where they work. That's why people love to move downtown, because there are colleges here, there is workplace down here, and you could live and, and live where you work. If you don't have to work on Wall Street anymore, do you have to live here? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.